Okay, let's talk. So we definitely live in a society where we're constantly marketed to, to buy, 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 and shop till you drop. And based on the trillions of dollars that are spent yearly, I perhaps am in the minority. I am not too fond of shopping. I don't like to amass a lot of materialistic things. And just personally, I prefer to splurge on experiences and build memories. We live in a society that tends to inflate the value of materialistic things. We have become more obsessive. We are starting to idolize luxury items. We are becoming too dependent on these things. And we are becoming very judgmental. We have reached a point where we're starting to believe that luxury items or things can provide us with security, self-esteem, self-worth, and self-value. It's almost as people who amass these things whether it's correlative or causality, tend to be overly prideful, aloof and conceited, and condescending and belittling to those individuals who don't possess these luxury items. So that's where it becomes concerning. As a man, it is my designated duty to protect and provide. And it's not only protecting your loved ones from something or standing in front of the bullet, it's protecting them from themselves. So when someone is so wrapped up and engulfed in materialistic things that they begin to lose their sense of humanity, it's my duty to say, hey, slow down and let me help them recenter themselves back to good, back to righteousness. I think we have cross the line. We're forgetting to be thankful and appreciative. There are people that can look at a closet full of clothes and say, I have nothing to wear. So we have to learn to be detached. An engagement ring is meant to be a symbol of your love. So let's just say your loved one has lost their engagement ring. It's not the end of the world. You can be creative and say, let's make a new symbol. That beauty mark on your face is now our symbol of love and that probably won't go away. So the point is that we can't take these things with us when we pass. We should not be so overly invested that if we lose something, that we lose ourselves. I'm not opposed to materialistic things or luxury things. I just want us as a society to treat it at face value and not inflate the value of materialistic things. I got wind of a campaign that is currently being ran by Tiffany and Company, and it features the Carters. I applaud all parties involved for showcasing Americana in the way that it was truly meant to be. Inclusivity, multiculturalism, and freedom for all. The Tiffany diamond that's featured in the campaign is a yellow diamond that's about 128 carats, and prior to Ms. Carter, it has always been worn by women of European descent. Going all the way back from socialite Mary Whitehouse to Audrey Hepburn to Lady Gaga. So it was refreshing to see that there was a confidence behind a black couple representing opulence, grandeur, and class. So inspiring that today, I think I'm gonna visit the flagship store which happens to be in the Fifth Avenue shopping district home to many of the luxury brands like Chanel and Louis Vuitton and luxury department stores like Bergdorf Goodman and Saks Fifth Avenue. So although I'm not too fond of shopping, today I'm just gonna do it for the experience. I just wanna give some tips to you guys from a New York local. The first tip I could suggest is if you're going to be shopping in these areas, then you should definitely bring a discreet bag from home so that you could hide some of the items or some of the boutiques. Also, if you request, they'll give you a discreet packaging. Another thing is you can travel in groups and make sure you're confident that you're with someone who can provide security. To me, the best way to go shopping is to hire a driver for the day. And that's exactly what I did. So that way you can put all of your stuff in leave it in the car basically and then when you're all set you can just tell the driver your location and head back home safely uh, 
I got you. <laughs> Appreciate it, man. Have a good one, man. Yes, care, man. All right. Hey, what's your YouTube, by the way? Uh, balance Sweet. Balance Sweet? Sweet. Balance Sweet. Balance Sweet? Yeah. All right. We'll tune in. All right, man. I'm going. Guys, this is my last stop. I made it um, to Bloomingdale's. About to go in there and see if I could get one more thing that I was looking for. Hopefully, they have my size. If not, I'm calling it quits. That's it. It's important not to allow sociological influences to drive you to live beyond your means and incur unnecessary debt. I think I would find shopping more pleasurable if I was shopping for my loved ones. Anticipating the joy it would bring them would actually be exciting for me. Well, I just got back from shopping and my raw emotion is that it was a little overwhelming and draining for me personally. I think I definitely got more insight to why people enjoy doing it there was about 30 seconds where I did get the shopping high and I was like, oh wow, this is fun and exciting. But that quickly wore off. The atmosphere got a little pretentious for me. You know, once people started to realize that you are a serious shopper or that you have a certain budget, I think they tend to cater to you more. I was able to get four items. <laughs> From Nordstrom, I just got a home diffuser. At Saks Fifth Avenue, I got some Aqua de Palma cologne. And at Tiffany's, I got some uh, diamond stud earrings. Let's get the wrapper. about um, a little over a carat. And I got one more item, but they didn't have my size, so they ordered it online for me and they'll ship it to me. On one hand, I'm grateful to be in a position to, I guess, afford to do that kind of experiment. And then the, on the other hand, I'm like, I still think it's wasteful. I still think it's frivolous. I don't get it. I just don't get it. I think going shopping on Fifth Avenue, it just reaffirmed my belief in having a more simpler or humble lifestyle. Wealth to me is more to do with your inner character and living a purposeful and impactful life as opposed to gathering possessions. Hey, enjoy yourself, but don't allow material things to make you lose yourself or give it an inflated value where you just become wealthy with things but poor in character. I truly appreciate you guys uh, coming along this personal journey and experiment with shopping. And as always, I love you neighbors and may peace be with you.